So you might be having an issue with your PlayStation 5 controller where the D-pad is just not working. Now what does this mean? Well essentially with something like your controller itself, maybe all the other buttons of your console are working except for these buttons right here. Now the first thing I'd recommend doing as always is just making sure that the controller itself, you didn't recently throw it and you recently didn't drop it really hard or something like that, or you didn't try taking it apart and you messed something up. If anything like that ended up happening, you may end up having a hardware defect, which means None of these tier tricks are really going to help you. It's just going to, you know, pretty much you're going to have to get it replaced or grab a new controller. But the first thing I'd recommend doing is just quickly clicking in all the buttons just like so and putting your controller upside down and kind of doing that and seeing if anything kind of falls out. If you have a lot of dust and stuff stuck in this specific portion of your D-pad, sometimes there can be some issues where it doesn't work properly. So what I would recommend doing is just quickly hitting these buttons while they're upside down and seeing if anything like that comes out. That could be one thing I'd recommend doing. On top of that, if that doesn't work, your really only other best bet is to go ahead and repair your controller to your PlayStation 5. So sometimes there can be some, you know, differences and issues if you're going through and you're using their Bluetooth standard connection on these controllers. So you want to grab a USB Type-C port or USB Type-C cord, plug it into the end of this specific, you know, controller and plug in the other side to your PlayStation 5. You want to manually plug those things in and at that point, you may end up seeing that your D-pad may end up working. If that ends up happening, then it may have just been a temporary issue with your D-pad and with software typically, and you may want to go ahead and update your PlayStation 5. If you have the ability of doing so, maybe use a different controller, update your PlayStation 5, and that could end up updating the drivers within all these controllers and all these things in the background, and that could end up fixing the situation as well. If that still doesn't work, you may want to go ahead and double check that you can repair your controller to your console as well. So repair your controller, see if that works. You may want to go ahead and recycle and you know power cycle your PlayStation 5. So go ahead, power it down, power it back off. But I will also say, if you can temporarily connect your console to maybe another, you know, if you can temporarily connect your controller to another device like an iPhone or something like that, and if you can just kind of see if your controller is working on those you know, devices except your PlayStation 5, then it may just be an update problem and you may just have to go ahead and you know, get an update to your PlayStation 5 and that could end up fixing the situation as well. So those are a few different things I'd recommend taking a look at. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.